I think uh, the Sobagia scheme is a very good scheme in general because uh, only a few years ago there were still many houses in India that were not electrified. So I think uh, having a goal of electrifying all the households is a very good idea. So we have visited habitations in Sitapur and Behraj districts right. in yeah. Pradesh. Yeah. And what we have found there is that in reality there are still many households that don't have electricity. And the reason for this is that the government has actually changed the definition and goal of Sopagia. They are now counting any kind of uh, Kadia connection as a um, connection. And they have also said that if a household is unwilling to have electricity, meaning that they are not willing to pay, then they are not included in the count. And that's why they say 100%, even though there are still many households without power. What we have done here is we have sent a team to do a full census of four villages. Okay. So we've done one big village with 400 households, two small villages, one with 25, one with 19, and then we've done one house, uh, one village where you had about 100 households. I think there are two main goals for the government. One is that they should focus on improving the billing and the collection of electricity bills. Because right now the government is making huge losses out of electricity, especially in the rural areas. And the other thing is to find a way to electrify the remaining households. And I think there the most important thing is to find a way to improve the affordability of electricity. Because the most important reason why households do not have electricity is that they cannot afford to pay the bills.